in today's video, we're going to be talking about knowing your worth in God. Do you know your worth in God? Do you know how much value you have in God? Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. If you're seeing my face for the first time, I am Amanda Ometu of the Mandy and Fanny YouTube channel. I'm a YouTuber based in where precisely in the here in Delta State of Nigeria. How are you guys doing? To my old and returning subscribers, thank you so much for always sticking around. If you're new here, you're watching, you know, subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. You're not going to miss out on anything. Yeah, we do faith based content, Christian lifestyles, vlogs, you know, stories that will motivate, inspire you, and draw you closer to God. It's the kind of content you love watching. And please consider subscribing okay and then please watch the video to the end like share do all those good stuff they do on any youtube channel so quickly in today's video we're going to be talking about knowing your worth in god do you know your worth in god do you know how much value you have in god if this is the kind of content you want to watch then please do not go anywhere watch to the end thank you welcome once again as i said while introducing the video i said we're going to be talking about knowing your worth in god do you know your worth in god I've got subscribers who are women, men, boys, girls. Now, I've come to challenge you and to remind you again that you ought to know who you are in Christ. Okay? So, what exactly is knowing your worth in God? Knowing your worth in God is knowing that you are God's, God's masterpiece. Now, the Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Okay? In the, it said, let there be this, let there be that, let there be that. And this thing just began to come into existence. And when it came to the son of man, he said, let us make man in our own image after our likeness. So knowing your worth in Christ is knowing first and foremost, let it sink into your mind that you are God's masterpiece. You are not a counterfeit. You are original. You are good the way you are. So when you know your worth in God, you know that you are God's masterpiece. Also, knowing your worth in God is knowing how much value you add to God. You know when something is valuable, you take care of it. Gold, you know, all those precious ornaments. We take very good care of them because we know how much value they are to us. And that's how you are as well to God. When you know your worth in God, you know that you have much value to God. You know that it doesn't matter what is happening around you. Anything that is happening, it would not shake you because you know your worth in God. So knowing your worth in God is knowing that you have value in the sight of God. Knowing your worth in God also makes you realize that you matter to God. You have great priority to God. You are first on his list. It shows when you know your worth in God, it shows that you know that you matter to God. There's a song, okay, that Sinash used to sing, a gospel musician in Nigeria. She says, I know who I am. I know who God says I am, what he says I am, whom he says I am, I know whom I am, I know whom God says I am, what he says I am, whom he says I am, I know whom I am, I'm working in power, I'm working in miracles, I live a life of favor, I know whom I am, say, say, get look, I, I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. I see his glory. Oh, I know who I am. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. So when you know your worth in God, it shows that you know that you matter to God. This kind of song is the song that you sing all day long. It doesn't matter what's happening around you. It doesn't matter the situations around in the economy of any country that you are in. It doesn't matter what is happening around you. Because you know your worth in God. You know that God, you matter to God. It will give you up this confidence. Your worth in God also makes you realize and know that you are precious before the sight of God. A precious ointment. A precious ornament. You are precious in the sight of God. Okay, so no harm whatsoever can befall you. It doesn't matter how much the gang up is. You are precious before God. You matter to God. You are value to God. You are his masterpiece. That is realizing and knowing that you is knowing your worth in God. So I've come to challenge you today. Do you know your worth in God? If you know your worth in God, are you working in the knowledge of knowing that you are what God has made you to be? You are working power. You are walking in grace. You are walking. You know, you you are precious before the sight of God. So you walk not as a proud person, but you walk with this consciousness, knowing that you know that you are of great essence before the sight of God. This is how you know 
that you know your worth in God. When you know your worth in God, you live your best life. You do not live a mediocre life. You do not live anything less. God's plan for you, when you know your worth in God, you live your best life. What kind of life are you living right now? Are you living the life that God has destined for you? Are you living the life that God has, you know, originally planned for you? If you are not, then you have to turn back. Knowing that you are of great essence before God, then you have to live your best life. When you know your worth in God, you do not make bad decisions, okay? Any decision that is not favorable, any decisions that will not bring glory to God, you do not make such decisions because you know your worth in God. I've come to challenge you today. I've come to spoil you up, make you realize that you are of great essence before God. You that is watching me right now, you that is hearing me, the sound of my voice, you are of great essence before God. We must realize and know how much we worth to God. So when you know you're worth in God, you do not live a life below the standard of God. You live your best life. We know how much you worth to God. You make decisions. You make decisions that are not bad. You make decisions that will affect your generation positively. You make decisions that will affect the church positively. So I've come to charge you, know your worth in God. You know your worth in God. You do not live an unhappy life. When you know your worth in God, you do not live an unhappy life. You are always happy. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength. So situations around don't determine how much, you know, excitement I am around me because I know my worth in God. So if you know your worth in God, these are some of the benefits that you accrue when you know your worth in God. When you know your worth in God, you do not live an unhappy life. Who is the person I'm talking to that is so sad? You are living a life that is, you know, you are not happy. Situations are not making you happy. You must realize and know that you worth so much to God. You are, a, you are precious before God. You are grace before God. You are God's masterpiece. So you must desist from living. And going further, we're quickly going to read 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20. It says, it says, For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God. You are bought with a price. Hallelujah. God has bought you. You, you do not buy things that have no value with price okay it's only something that is valuable that you buy with a price the bible says you are bought with a price god bought you with a price okay you are worthy you are of great worth before the sight of god we're quickly going to go ahead by you know saying some things okay telling you some things that would happen when you do not know your worth in Christ. The first thing that comes to mind is you become a people pleaser. Okay, you please everyone. This one does this, he does it. You, you just want to please everyone because you do not know your worth in Christ. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 6, it says, it says, so that we may boldly say, we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what man shall do unto me. So when you do not know your worth in Christ, you become people pleaser. You want to please everyone. You want to please Christians, you want to please unbelievers, you want to please everyone because you do not know your worth in Christ. So I've come to challenge you, please let us know our worth in Christ. It's of great essence. Another thing that happens when you do not know your worth in Christ, you want to fit in, okay? It doesn't matter where you are fitting in. You just want to, you know, you just want to fit in. You just want to belong because you do not know your worth in Christ, because you do not know how precious you are in Christ. So I've come to challenge you once again, know your worth in Christ, okay? Because if you do not know your worth in Christ to fit in into places where you are not supposed to fit in. When you know you're what in Christ, you do better care of yourself. Okay, you see some people just dressing anyhow. You see some people just, they do not take off their physical being. They do not take off their spiritual being because they do not know how much they want before Christ. If you know you are God's masterpiece, if you know God took his time to create you, he, he said, let us make man in our own image. Then you are going to take better care of yourself. Another benefit that accrues, you know, from knowing your worth in Christ is that you take better care of yourself. Another point, that's the fourth one, is that you become confident in your uniqueness okay so you know you are unique you are you know you are the only one your kind is there's no other kind of your kind okay so you are the only one that god has created as in your kind is not you do not have a duplicate and that's why i said earlier on you are not a counterfeit you are original your your kind they cannot see your kind even these double kind of people they do around that they used to you know puts people up okay your kind your original kind that kind of kind kind they will not see that you kind. So when you know your worth in Christ, you become confident in your uniqueness. You know, there's not two kind of you, okay? You are you. That is another benefit that accrues when you know your worth in Christ. The last 
thing I'm going to talk about when you know your worth in Christ is that you become happier. You become a happier version of you. Okay, we see a lot of people who are so sad. They are not happy in who they are. They are not happy where they are. You know, because they do not know their worth in Christ. You become happier when you know your worth in Christ. Once again, I know whom I am. I know whom God says I am. What he says I am. Whom he says I am. I know whom I am. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know whom I am. Take a look at my wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. I see his glory. Oh, I know whom I am. Take a look at me. I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. I see his glory. Yes, yes. I know who Maya. So that is going to be your song all day long, all year long, all time long because you know your worth in Christ. Once again, thank you so, so much for watching. Okay, if you've got other things, okay, other benefits that accrues from knowing your worth in Christ, then please leave it in the comment section below or we'll, we'll want to learn. We would appreciate it if you comment, if you make, you know, comments that will uplift our souls. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you're watching, you know, subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel like share do all those good stuff they do on youtube channel remember you are of great essence in the sight of god you are worthy before god you are god's masterpiece you have great value before god you are original you are not counterfeit until i come your way again next time this is amanda women saying stay blessed remember this god loves you jesus loves you and so do i bye bye